So here are the results after using both block strap and void strap with the best fast flag settings applied. In this video, we're putting block strap and void strap head to head to see which one gives better FPS boost and lower ping. I'll test both with fast flags and real gameplay so you know exactly which one is best for performance. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Game Mode and Graphics Settings for Roblox First, we are going to change some very important settings to help your computer run Roblox much better. Begin by clicking on the Windows search bar at the bottom of your screen and type the words Game Mode. When it appears in the results, click on it to open the settings and turn Game Mode on. This setting helps by turning off some extra things in the background so your computer can give more power to Roblox. Now, go back to the Windows search bar and type Graphics Settings. Click and open it. In that window, click the Browse button and a file browser will appear. Use it to go to the folder where your Roblox is installed. Find the Roblox Player Beta.exe file, select it, and add it to the list. Once Roblox is added to the list, click on its name in the list, then click the Options button. A new window will pop up. In that window, choose High Performance and then click Save. This will tell your graphics card, GPU, to give more power to Roblox for better FPS and smoother gameplay. This simple change makes sure your PC always gives its best performance when you are playing Roblox. Step 2. Boost Roblox FPS with block strap and void strap settings and fast flags. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. First, I'm going to test block strap with fast flag settings to boost FPS, and after that, I'll let you know which one gives better FPS and performance. Block strap or void strap? Now let's move on and use a special tool called Block Strap Launcher to improve Roblox's graphics and performance. To begin, download Block Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Now that you have finished installing it, you just need to open it and click on Configure Settings. This is the place where you will be able to see everything clearly. Right now, you should go to the Integrations tab, and inside this tab there are a lot of helpful and easy-to-use settings. For example, there is an option called Allow Multi-Instance Launching, and another one called Query Server Location, which lets you see the country and the location of the Roblox server that you are connected to whenever you join a game. This is a pretty cool and useful feature. You can also turn on Show Game Activity and Show Reverence Account, which will allow other people to see what account you are using on your Discord profile and what Roblox game you are currently playing through your Discord profile. So, that's a nice little option too. Alright, let's move on now to the Bootstrapper tab. This tab mostly has some simple and not very exciting settings. It includes some basic quality of life options, like asking for confirmation before opening another Roblox instance. These options are useful, but honestly, a little boring. But then we go to the Mods tab. Here you will find the Mods folder, which allows you to add custom textures, custom audios, and other similar stuff. You should probably avoid changing anything in here unless you really know what you're doing, but it's still pretty interesting to look at. There are also some nice quality of life presets here like use old death sound, mouse cursors, and old avatar editor background. These are fun little features that bring back the old Roblox feeling. It's all really cool, but there's even better stuff coming up next. Now we are going to check out the engine settings. Inside this section, you will see a lot of ready-made settings and options for rendering and graphics. You can adjust all of these settings to help boost your FPS, make your ping lower, and reduce input delay or lag. Basically, these settings are made to make your game faster, smoother, and more responsive. If you are interested in adding fast flags to help with all of this, you can download the FPS Boost Pack from my website. I will leave a link in the description for you. Inside these settings, you can also change the font style, and at the bottom of this section, there's a fast flag editor, where you can paste your custom fast flags. Now the last two tabs, which are appearance and shortcuts, are also a bit boring. But still, they give you the option to change how the bootstrapper looks, and manage shortcuts for different actions. Alright, now let's compare void strap to block strap. For this, we will go to the fast flag editor, and get some fast flags from my FPS boost pack. I will leave a link in the description for you, so you can easily find it and grab the fast flags. So here's what you need to do you will need to go to the FPS Boost Pack. Then, you will see a Google Docs link that contains all the fast flags. It should be labeled as FPS. Now, simply press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy all the flags from that Google Doc. Then go back to Blockstrap, press the Import JSON button, paste all the flags you copied, and now your fast flags will be successfully added and enabled. All right, now we are going to test the FPS. First, we are going to close Blockstrap, search for it again, open it, and then launch Roblox. 
All right, so here are the FPS stats after using Blockstrap. And as you can see, I'm getting around 140 FPS in Roblox, which is a pretty solid boost. But don't worry, we're not stopping here. Now it's time to test Voidstrap and see how much FPS we can get with it. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS with Voidstrap settings and fast flags. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we'll use a special program called Voidstrap Launcher to improve Roblox's graphics and performance. First, download Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it finishes downloading, install the launcher. After it installs, click on the Windows search bar, type Voidstrap, and open the app. All right, we're just going to open it up, go to the settings, and we can see in the integrations tab, we can actually see in all the tabs, there's a lot more settings. So yeah, in the integrations tab, we have basically the same stuff. We have player message logs as well, and we have a couple extra things. This stuff isn't really important. Now moving on to the deployment tab, we can see some other stuff like multi-instance launching, which is very useful. A feature to be able to launch multiple Roblox instances at the same time. Blockstrap also has this, but I'm not sure if it's as stable. Then we also have an extra feature that Blockstrap doesn't have called cross-game teleportation, which could be a cool feature, but I haven't tested it yet, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So moving into the modifications tab, you can see a bunch of similar stuff. The mods folder, all of that, old death sound, all the stuff that Blockstrap had. So this is pretty much the same. Now in the fast flag editor, there's a couple of extra things like we have crosses and ticks next to the fast flags to show if they're preset flags or not, which is quite cool. Then at the top of the UI here, we have a lot of extra features like copying all the flags, copying a better JSON, which basically puts it in an easier format to distribute, and then you have the find flag thing. I'm not really sure how to use it, but it's a pretty cool feature. You also have profiles, so you can do a bunch of stuff with that, so this is a bit better than Blockstrap. We are going to copy and paste our fast flags into here. Import JSON, copy it in, and we're going to save that. And now we're going to compare the FPS that we got in Voidstrap with what we got in Blockstrap. Then obviously, you have the appearance and the shortcuts. It doesn't really matter. And then we have a very interesting feature called AI Chat. Now, it is in beta, so it's not great, but hopefully in the future, it will be able to tell us a bunch of stuff about flags that we don't know, just by talking to the AI. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now we're going to compare the FPS, so we're going to save and launch and see how good it is. All right, so here are the FPS stats after using Voidstrap. And as you can clearly see, I'm getting over 1200 FPS in Roblox, which is a huge boost in performance and stability. But this is not the end of the optimization process. There's still more you can do to make Roblox run even faster. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to boost Roblox FPS. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Another great tool to improve system performance and boost Roblox FPS is MSI Utility. It helps lower system latency and makes your hardware more stable for gaming. After downloading it, open the program. You will see a list of hardware components on your system. This tool helps your hardware talk to your CPU faster, which improves responsiveness and reduces input lag helping boost Roblox FPS. Look for your GPU model in the list and check the MSI box next to it. Then set interrupt priority to high. Do the same for your integrated GPU, for example Intel. Check the MSI box and set its priority to high. After you make all these changes, click. Apply to save the settings and then close MSI utility. This will reduce input delay, improve your system's response time, and boost Roblox FPS for smoother gameplay. Step 5. Improve your power plan to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. 
For the final step, I will show you how to change your power settings in Windows to get the best performance in Roblox. First, click on the Windows search bar and type Power. Then click on Choose a Power Plan. If your PC is currently using the Balanced Plan, it means that your CPU is not always running at full speed, which can reduce performance in games. You need to change it to either High Performance or Ultimate Performance. If you do not see Ultimate Performance listed, here's how to enable it. Copy the special command from the video description, open command prompt as administrator paste. The command and press enter. Once it says that ultimate performance is now available, go back to the power plan settings and choose ultimate performance. This power plan will make sure your CPU runs at full power all the time, which helps reduce FPS drops and gives smoother Roblox gameplay. After completing all of these steps, restart your computer to make sure everything is working correctly. These settings will help lower your ping, reduce lag, and make your game smooth.